Good afternoon, my name is Kevin Santana and today we're going to do a formulation with metformin. Metformin is an API used as a first therapy for type 2 diabetes. The technology we're going to use is dry granulation. Hello, uh, what we are going to use for our formulation is uh, metformin as API which uh, is used for type 2 diabetic. We are going to use Avicel uh, PH101, uh, it's a filler. We are going to use star as a lubricant uh, and we are, we are going to use cross povidone which is a disintegrant uh, for improve the disintegration of the tablet. In this step we are going to mix our powder here in the bee blender in order to homogenize our final mixture. Okay, so continuing with the second step we're going to mix by using the bee blender. We're going to add the ingredients first. Now we'll put the lid on. Screw it to make sure that no powder gets out of the blender. And now we're ready to turn it on. The objective of this step is to homogenize the mixture so that the final dosage form has uniformity in all its ingredients. Okay, now that, the, now that we have blended the mix, we're going to see which one is the final product, how it, how it went. Okay, this is the third step. In this third step, now that we have a formulator ready, now that it is homogeneous and that it's already mixed, we're going to do the slugs. In the dry granulation theory, the slugs are big pieces of a formulation. They weigh almost 1 gram, 0.9 grams. That's an approximate. What we want to do is make a granular form of our formulation. Both theory and practice tell us that when you have a granular form, they have better flow and they are more soluble. And that's what we want for a formulation. As metformin is heat sensitive and it's a little moisture sensitive, we chose dry granulation as our technology. So the feeder already has all the formulations and we're going to start. Okay, now we're in the fourth step. We already did these logs, now we're going to do the dry granules. We'll pass it to a number 8 mesh so we can have the granular form of a formulation. As you can see in the final, in the final step, you can see this one. You can see the final granular form of our formulation. Okay, this is the fifth step. So now that we have our granular form, what we're going to do is add a lubricant so that the friction between the granules are less. So our final formulation flows more freely. We're going to add our product in the bee blender along with 2.5 grams of talc which is half the talc of the total formulation and then it's the same process we put it, we screw it so we make sure that no, nothing that is inside the blender goes out and we start the machine That's the final step here. We are uh, doing the second compression of the tablets and we are obtaining a final dosage form. They are beautiful. Yeah, they are. <laughs> After the whole process of dry granulation, of making our final product flow more freely with the help of the granulated form and the lubricant. This is our final result. They are little but thick tablets, very smooth and I must say very beautiful. Yes, they are. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay, guys. And this was dry granulation. Great. That's the friability test. In the friability test, we are going to use the friability, the friability uh, it is composed by two drums. So I'm going to here I, I have uh, 6.5 grams 
of tablets and I'm going to add it into the drum. Once I add it, I pull it back in the machine and I screw it. And the machine will operate for five minutes. When the machine finished, I take it out the drum and I have to wait the tablets and by waiting, I will calculate the percentage of friability. Okay, the test that we're going to do here is an effervescent test. This is an aspirin final dosage form made by effervescence method. So the only thing we need to do is pour the final product here in water and measure the time the effervescence takes place.